Hey guys, Mike here from Fortinet Guru. Um, decided to do another whiteboard session. This one's going to be geared more towards uh, an explanation of ADVPN, which is um, dynamic VPNs from branch to branch to help cut down on uh, your central hub bandwidth and things of that nature. So, um, the best way to explain it. There's a couple of different ways you could do VPN, right? So you normally have your branch, which is your, you know, your headquarters or whatever. Your headquarters, your data center, whatever your primary uh, VPN termination point or concentration point is. And then you have, I'm going to call them remote. One. You have your remote one site. Remote two, and then remote three, etc. We'll stop there just for the sake of time. But you know, hub and spoke mentality that's your central termination point for all your IPsec tunnels. So every branch would have an IPsec tunnel or two. Depending off the, if the, you know you wanted to do high availability or a redundant link or anything like that, but for now we'll just assume one. So and then we'll say that these are white one nine two. Doing a little bit of shorthand here. But basically, every remote site has an IPsec tunnel up to headquarters. So to access any of their resources, it goes up that tunnel. Now, in order to do that, or in order to access resources that live at branch 2 or branch 3 from branch 1, it has to go up to HQ and then down to those sites. Now, if you have a ton of bandwidth right here at HQ, that's not a that's not a big deal, right? Because you're not going to have two ways of communication or two traffic flows of communication that have nothing to do with headquarters going over that central line. But in the event that you did, that could be an issue. Um, another point of view is having full mesh, which is where every site has links to one another so they always have a direct tunnel to go to access each other that's a full mesh it's a lot more overhead it requires more of you as far as management and things of that nature it can get pretty cumbersome but once you have a full mesh tunnel set up remote one can talk to remote three without issue remote one can talk to four without issue four can talk to two two can talk to three so you no longer have a, cent a central single point of failure at your HQ. You're also not relying on a single pipe that may get overutilized if remote one's trying to pull a whole bunch of bandwidth from remote three. A full mesh gives you the ability to go straight from point to point. You no longer have to worry about using all of that 50 meg or 100 meg pipe to traverse things both ways. So those are the two primary um, IPsec tunnel deployments that you'll see out in the wild. Hub and spoke or full mesh. Now, ADVPN leverages some cool features in the FortiGate as well as a dynamic routing protocol, BGP, specifically to do a full mesh configuration automatically. Now, what that means is you have your HQ. And then you have remote site one, remote site two, three, four, five. Okay. Each one of these sites has an IPsec tunnel up to HQ. So you have the simplicity of a single tunnel from a management standpoint. You don't have to worry about one having a site to two, three, four, 
or site to site from one to two to three to four to five, the HQ and all that. So it greatly reduces your management overhead. With route reflecting, which is a feature that you actually turn on within the tunnel, and it helps if I can actually spell. With route reflection, BGP, you're able to take this simple IPsec layout and dynamically build site-to-site -site tunnels from location to location. So let's say that for the simplicity of the network diagram, we're going to say that each one of these is the third octet. So this will be 192.168.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.